Yes, we have a poem, but do not panic. It is not necessarily hard. Poems are great opportunities to use our main reading section strategy of dumb summaries. So let's just think about connotations. Is this a positive poem? Is this a negative poem? Maybe that's all we need, but let's take a look. Uh, a song is but a little thing, and yet what joy it is to sing. Okay, that sounds positive. In hours of toil, it gives me zest. And when at eve, I long for rest. When cows come home along the bars, and in the fold, I hear the bell. As night, the shepherd herds his stars. I sing my song, and all is well. Right? So it ends on a, on a positive note. It starts on a positive note. There are negative words in here, right? Toil, uh, long for rest makes it sound like I'm tired, right? Those seem like negative things. But look at the context. In hours of toil, it gives me zest. Zest is like uh, enthusiasm, I guess, or, um, you know, I, I almost think of the word spice, which is another food word. It kind of like means like excitement or something interesting. So, uh, it's, it's it, even in the toil, the song is a good thing is what they're saying, right? It, the good of the song outweighs the bad. So overall, this is definitely a positive poem. Don't get, don't let a couple of negative words throw you off, you know, try to think about how they're being used in context. In this case, they're, they're trying to say that those negatives are kind of erased by the positive of the song. So from there, let's just go to the choices. So A, to convey how engaging in song makes the how engaging in song makes the speaker feel. Well, notice that is a neutral choice, right? It doesn't say whether it makes him feel good or bad, right? The poem says it makes him feel good, but I don't know. The choice doesn't get that far. Is that good? Is that bad? But it's not wrong, right? It doesn't say that it makes him feel bad, right? It doesn't have a negative connotation. So we can't eliminate this choice, even though it doesn't quite rise to the level of our dumb summary and our connotation. But let's keep going. Uh, it is to compare the speaker to a singing shepherd. Well, this is a good example of like, well, don't let one little line throw you off, right? The, the thing is about a song, right? The main character of this is a song. Main character is a song. Why is the main character of the choice the shepherd, right? I mean, that's one little line. Now, here's the other thing. <laughs> It doesn't really matter. I would have eliminated this regardless. But the knight is the shepherd. The knight is like embodied as a person here and the, as a shepherd that is herding the stars in the sky, right? It's a metaphor. You don't really need to understand that, but it, it's proving be wrong completely. C, to portray the speaker's excitement about farming. Well, positive. But farming? Are we talking about farming? Again, this is the shepherd thing just kind of blown out of proportion. No, he's... He's, it's about the song, right? It's not about farming. So this is the wrong main character again. D, to describe the pieces of music the speaker enjoys hearing. This is a great example of a choice that seems really good because we have the right connotation, right? Enjoy. It sounds like it's about songs. So pieces of music, that seems pretty good, right? Or at least let's check that off, right? We The speaker is enjoying music, I guess. So this all sounds really, really good. But we can turn this answer choice into a question. And when we do, we realize that this poem is not answering that question, right? So what would the question be? To describe the pieces of music the speaker enjoys hearing. Okay, what pieces of music does the speaker enjoy hearing? Does it say? Well, it says a song is a little thing and it joy it is to sing, right? It doesn't say what kind of song he likes to sing. It gives him zest uh, when he longs for rest. Uh, there's something about the cows and hearing the bell. But again, it's not saying that he likes songs with bells, right? It just talks about a bell. Um, he's, I sing my song and all is well. Again, what song are you singing? It, he's not getting specific. So if we turn this into a question, what pieces of music does the speaker enjoy hearing? We don't have an answer to that. And so the fact that the poem is not answering that question means that this can't be the main purpose of the text. It has not fulfilled its purpose. If, if its purpose was to name the songs and describe them, then boom, we'd have that answer. So that leaves us with A, which was not a particularly um, enticing answer choice when we first started, right? It, it, it seems to leave out something very important, that this is a good thing. These songs make this person feel good. But that's okay. This is a very common thing that we're going to see on the SAT. And it's it really messes with people at first because they feel like a summary like this is too vague, is too weak, is is missing key information. And, and they're not wrong, but that's not the game we're playing here. With the SAT, we are very rarely going to get summaries from the answer choices that are perfect, that encapsulate every single important idea. In fact, a lot of times they intentionally leave out important ideas because 
they don't want you to be drawn to that answer choice. They want you to have to work for it. And that's why we have to do two things when we go through these questions is we have to look for the answer that's right. That's something you're going to probably do naturally. But you also have to think about the other answers and be like, okay, is there any reason why this answer is wrong? Because usually, just like in this case, it is easier to show why an answer is wrong than it is to prove the right answer right. But in a way, choice A is correct. Yes, it does convey how the... Um, speaker feels about the song, and we can turn that into a question the same way we did choice D. Um, uh, how does engaging, or how does, yeah, how does engaging in song make the speaker feel? It makes them feel good, right? So notice, we can turn that into a question, and then the answer we have. The answer itself is not included in the choice, but that's okay. That's how the SAT works. So I love this question because it really gets us used to some things that we might not really be aware of on how the SAT works. Even though it's not a particularly hard question, we really get to see how we are going to need to use these exact same skills when it does get hard later on.